Regular power meters incorporate a voltage meter that is connected to the surface of a measurable object. When force is applied to that object, it bends slightly, changing the length of the strain gauge. This produces a change in the electrical resistance of a meter, which is used to calculate a power value. Many cyclists use power meters, but probably many more would use them if things were not so expensive. A group of Dutch businessmen is trying to solve that situation with the IQ squared. According to the IQ squared people, most power meters have voltage meters that are glued by hand instead. This means that even when two identical power meters are compared, the strain gauge will not be oriented exactly the same way in both. To compensate for this lack of uniformity, a factory calibration process is necessary, along with complex software. This makes mass production challenging, which is reflected in the price. The IQ squared incorporates a unique thin film tension gauge. It is deposited directly in the power meter without human intervention, then it is molecularly linked and cut with a laser. As a result, each IQ squared is exactly the same, so a factory calibration of the individual units is not required. Also, unlike some other power meters that are built into bicycle parts, such as the cranks, the IQ squared is simply inserted between the pedal and the crank, which means it can be switched between several bicycles. Users can opt for a single meter on one side with a spacer on the other, or they can use two meters to obtain individual power readings from each leg. The waterproof-slash-dustproof device of 29.7 grams is made of titanium and plastic, and is powered by a replaceable lithium cell battery that must be valid between 200 and 300 hours of use. It communicates with a third-party cycling computer through N+, or with an application on a smartphone paired via Bluetooth.